The anchor behavior is used to anchor an object to the screen so that it maintains its position when the window is resized or if users are playing your game on different screen resolutions. Let's take a look at how the anchor behavior is used and what it can do. The anchor behavior is used to position objects relative to the window size. So, for example, if you have a GUI layer that you want positioned at a certain location, you can use the anchor behavior to make sure it stays in that location if the player resizes their window or plays on a different screen resolution. Let's take a look. I have a simple platform layout set up with a player object and a tiled background for our level. When I preview the layout, you can see it's stretched to fit the full size of the browser window. I can run around on these platforms and the view follows along since I've added the scroll to behavior to the player. And we can fall off the platforms and die. I have a layer here called Parallax Layer. Right now, the parallax is set to 100% for the X and Y, which is the default for all layers. That means as you move, the layer scrolls at 100%. So if I add a heart to the upper left corner, and a key to the upper right corner, and I preview the layout, as I progress, the heart and key scroll away. If I set the parallax to zero, the parallax layer will scroll at zero percent. The layer won't scroll at all as we progress through the layout. If I preview it, you can see that as I move around the layout, the heart and the key hold their position. But there's already an issue. If you notice, the key is not in the exact position it was in the editor. See, in the editor, the key is right next to the line, but in the browser, it's not even close. Notice how close the edge of the window is with this fence. In the browser, there's a bunch of room between the fence and the window edge. That's because my browser's maximized and my screen resolution doesn't match that of the project. I have my project set to scale to the size of the window, so the viewable area is larger than expected in Construct. Not only that, but look what happens when I resize the window. The key and the heart move as the window is resized, which is not what we want for a GUI layer. This is where the anchor behavior comes in handy. By adding the anchor behavior to these objects, we can anchor them relative to the edge of the window. Select the key object. Click on Behaviors and select Add New. Then select Anchor under General. And I'll do the same for the Heart object. Now, we have a few properties we can set that will tell our object how to anchor itself. We have Left Edge, Top Edge, Right Edge, and Bottom Edge. Initial state lets you determine whether or not it's enabled at the start of the layout. Most of the time, you're going to want to set the left edge and the top edge. What these do is set the edge of an object relative to the edge of the window. Under left edge, we have window left and window right. Window left will cause the left side of the object to hold its position relative to the left edge of the window. If we resize to the right, it won't move it will hold its position relative to this edge. That's perfect for the heart, but I want this key to hold its position relative to the right window. That way, if I resize the window to the right, the key will follow the right window edge. I'll preview the layout, and you can see the key is in the correct position. If I resize the window, the key follows the right edge of the window. You can also set the top edge of the object to be positioned relative to either the top window edge or the bottom window edge. If this were set to the window bottom and I resized down, it would keep its distance from the bottom window edge. If you set right edge or bottom edge, the object will hold its position and scale itself depending on the size of the window. This can be useful for a background that you want to scale itself depending on the new window size. One thing to remember is that objects with the anchor behavior need to be on a layer with its parallax set to zero 
for both the X and the Y. If not, the objects may lag behind, and will appear jumpy as the player progresses through the layout. Using the anchor behavior is an easy way to position your GUI elements so that users with different screen sizes will have a similar experience. This can save you lots of time when you're trying to get your games working on multiple platforms. The more people that have access to your game, the better, so make sure you understand how to use the anchor behavior.